All right, so we're going to set up, but we're not going to evaluate it. All right, and if we were to evaluate this one, it probably could be done by hand, all right, but I don't want to. I want the bottom of the region about x equals negative 1. And it's kind of an odd graph. I think we're all pretty familiar with x to the fourth. So x to the fourth, right, is a parabolic shape. Open it up. But the one that's odd, that's really hard to picture is, we can picture a sine curve, hopefully, you know, starting at the origin and going like this. What's hard for me even at times right now is, is what does pi over 2 do? Well, that's the period adjustment, right? So the period of this thing is 360 over pi over 2. All right? And for round numbers, that means the period is about 200 and some degrees. All right? But we got to do this in radians, right? You know, so... I know this in my head. I can picture that I know at zero, it's zero. Does everybody agree with that? And what is my range on sine in this case? That doesn't change. One negative one. So I don't know where in Carmen San Diego this crosses right there. But that's the region. You guys agree? And if I highlight it, um, if I highlight it, it's right there. You guys agree? So, and that region, that little green region, is going to be spun about x equals negative 1. All right. Well, again, picking the method often is the biggest challenge here. All right? And so I'll box this. And here's the thing that I notice right away. If I try to do volume equals a to b, and since it's since it's perpendicular this way, right, it's going to have to be a y dy. Okay, the first thing we should realize is, yeah, this would be a washer, right? Here's the problem. I'd have to solve for x, all right? That's a huge problem here, not for this one, because I could take the fourth row. But everybody, do you want to do an arc sign? I would rather do many other things first, including hitting my thumb with a hammer in this case, because the other method is just too much, it's just too easy, too easy. So we're going to just take that off the board. We're going to say, okay, we're going to do cylindrical shells, right? Now, circumference times the height, right? We're taking the cylindrical shell that is dx thick, and unrolling it, right? Because we know the circumference is 2 pi x, and we know the height of it is f of x. And again, this is just reminders. That is why we're finding and adding up all these areas, right? We add them all up, and that what we get is the volume we're after. All right? So with that in mind, we're going to go back and look at this, because the circumference is what's going to be different. So I'll pull the 2 pi out. And I can tell right away, and I'm going to write the integral from 0 to a. Because at this point, you guys agree I don't know what a is? There's an intersection there, right? I don't know what it is off the top of my head. I'm going to figure it out at the end. I don't want to deal with it now. I know it's there to the right. All right, we can get everything else done first. Now, to really blow this up, I can move this up a little bit. To really blow this up, I can picture this, right? X negative 1, and it's going to go to the black sinusoid, right? And then it's going to go to the red polynomial, right? And I'm not showing that. And we got this going on, right? So what we have here is we have to set up this ugliness that's going on here, all right? So we have to understand that it's going to be that height, right? So the height is the f of x, in this case, is sine 
pi over 2x, right, minus x to the fourth. Does that make sense to everybody? That is the height of our right circular cylinder. Now we just got to know what's the distance. Well, the distance this time is just, it's not x times that, is it? Because x would start right here from the origin. And that's not the purple arrows we got going on, is it, for that line? So it's x minus a minus 1, right? Or it's simply x plus 1. And my f of x is sine pi over 2x minus x to the fourth. All what? All dx. And we, we have just set up our integral. Now, what's the one thing we got to do yet? We got to find a. And I don't want to do this by hand. I know, though, that x to the fourth would equal sine pi over 2x, right? And so my calculator will do this. So my calculator will do this. I would move it over here. Set equal to zero. I'm going to pause the video and set up my calculator for this. All right, so I had the solver up on the TID4, and I type in x to the fourth minus sine pi x over 2, right? And I say, yeah, that looks good. And that equals 0, and that looks good, so I hit enter. And I got to set a guess. Maybe I guess 0. This would be your first mistake you could make is guessing zero. Why? Because zero is an answer. Right? We knew that. That would be what mistake one. And so you say to yourself, well, let's go a little right. Let's go point 0.9 alpha solve. And it gives you point 0.30153. Now, I am not sure if this is right or wrong yet because I don't know one thing on my calculator. What's the other mistake that could easily be made? Yeah. It might be in radians right now is my big fear. And look, I'm in degrees. All right, so I know this answer is wrong. So I got to put it in radians. Okay, I hit enter. I clear back out. Then I got to go back in the solver, right? Because I didn't have it in radians. So I still have the same equation. I guess about 0.9 alpha solve. And the answer is 0.9999999. So guess where the intersection's at? It's at 1. Okay? Now, I don't know, not many students catch that. So I go back up here and I have found A is 1. I love erasure boards. Now we take a look and think about this. When I plug 1 in, it probably makes sense to you why they put pi over 2 over here as the multiplier. Because 1 times pi over 2 is pi over 2, which is 90 degrees, which is... One. One, one is a point, a very pretty point, right, of x to the fourth. I gave this to you like you wouldn't catch that, right? And if this was a college class where you were doing this on a test and you said to yourself, there's no way I can figure out, figure out the point of intersection, what would you stop and pause and do? Check the integers. You guys are good with x to the fourth. One, one is one of the few points that made sense. All right, and we now have set up with cylindrical shells and written the integral. Everybody, I don't want to do this by hand. The instructions in the textbook are just set up and not solved. So we're going to stop there. Keep practicing. How do you know what's